Beautiful morning for a hike. We're going on the Little Bears Trail in Ulanka National Park. I think the finish is Pieni Karhunkier. I'm sure I'm butchering that. Finnish people, please go ahead and critique me in the comments section. But if you if you if you start from Yuma, it's a longer loop, but we've got a 13-year-old with us who doesn't like hiking too much. So we can cut off a few miles of the hike by coming to Base Camp Ulanka, which is a lodge here. You can have coffee or breakfast here as well too if you like and then it's more like a six mile loop if you start from here this is one of finland's most popular trails and we're looking forward to it it's a nice day so you can see there's parking here too by the way as you can see behind us and uh bathrooms and wi-fi too yeah but i'm not sure so what did you hear jen the girl working in the in the uh, shop base camp base camp she said that uh to go left and do it counterclockwise. If you're starting from here, go left. Mm -hmm. um, because the highest, the most elevation gain is somewhere around here. Mm -hmm. It's better to do that in the first quarter. When so you're if you're starting leg. at base camp, go to the left towards Yuma. Right? No, not here. We're going to go to the trail. Oh, okay. Right. So you start on the, We're still you start the on trail. the Little Bears Trail. Right. Chance, you start on the Little Bears Trail, but then you veer left at the first chance. Yeah, I do want you to say, oh my goodness, because it is cool, isn't it? Another reindeer crossing on the way to Ulanka National Park. What's up to you guys? The little one isn't sure. He's waiting to see what his parents do. You guys go on the side of the damn road. <laughs> These reindeers. Silly reindeers. So here you go. It's 10.9 kilometers. If you want to go counterclockwise, you start here to the left. If you want to do the greatest elevation part first. Here's your first little stop you come to. Fire smells amazing. See, there's plenty of firewood here. Nice shelter. It's their first come, first serve, by the way, and they're free. So this is an example of one of these free shelters you can come stay in uh, in Finland. First come, first served, and uh, obviously you want to have your own sleeping bag and facilities and such. But uh, not too shabby, free of charge, there's a downstairs too. Hello view. Second base camp we're coming across here. Lovely place for a campfire or a picnic. Our first reindeer on the trail. I guess this is bridge number three or four, I don't know. I'm losing count. Such a pretty hike so far, just loving this. Trail is extremely well maintained too. Lots of signage, plenty of places to stop. There's even bathrooms, places, places for picnics, places to grill food, right? Yeah, lots for you to chop and stuff. Yep, firewood at the shelters. Now no, I'm not even going to try to pronounce the Finnish word for the free shelters. I would love to give all the Finnish viewers a laugh by trying to pronounce it, but no. Maybe later. Maybe I'll try it later.
It's nice that they have the stairs set up for us like this, huh? Otherwise, I don't know what the heck we'd do, would we, James? Okay, coming across another campground here. This one's a good one to relax at because they've gone down a lot of stairs. Luckily, not up any, but... Here's where we are right now. Not a campground, actually, just a picnic spot. I was wrong, there is a shelter here, there is a little campground. Oh, look, cute dog. <laughs> cute dog. <laughs> this one's more of a lean-to. The other one was a lot bigger. Had a lot of places to sleep, this one. It's just a little lean-to, but enough space here for someone, a couple people. a really nice part of the trail. Remember when I said it was a beautiful day? <laughs> Good idea to bring rain gear because now we hear thunder and uh, it's starting to rain a little bit. Not too bad though, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. It's raining so it's nice to come across the next shelter. Clearing up a bit. Hopefully the rain has passed us. This is a beautiful little uh, shelter here. Great place for a picnic. There's people who are making mac and cheese. Uh, of course, sausage, grilling sausages, things like that. We don't have anything quite that elaborate, but it's a really a beautiful facility. We're probably, I would say, I'm hoping two thirds of the way through the hike or so. Um, it could go longer. I could go longer. Um, not like I'm exhausted or anything like that, but I think James is getting a little tired uh, and our snacks are running low. So um, it's been a great hike so far, and this is a lovely little spot to stop and have your picnic. And here you go. There's the firewood. It's free for everybody to use. There's another shelter. <laughs> it's a little cooking facility. Moi. Quite a nice spot. Not gonna even try to pronounce this panorama. So not only are they providing you with free firewood at these shelters, but there's also an ax there too for you to chop it up as you prefer. We were just saying in the US, this would be like a liability issue. Can you imagine them just leaving like government provided axes at, um, <laughs> at like Yellowstone National Park or somewhere like that? They'd, of course, be afraid that, like, serial killers would come and hack people's heads off or that people would chop their own, accidentally chop their fingers off, right? And there'd be lawsuits. No way would the government provide free axes 
in the United States, but it's pretty cool that Finland does. Awesome hike. We are just about done. It took us just about three hours and we took it at a leisurely pace. We stopped, we had snacks and drinks. You could do it quicker if you want to, but three hours for about 11 kilometers or so. So nice. All the waterfalls, the bridges, uh, stumbling across a reindeer on our path. We're very close to the Arctic Circle here. Super cool hike, highly recommended. It rained on us a little bit, but not too much. Good idea to bring reindeer. A lot of people had ponchos with them. Good idea to bring sausages too, because you can roast those babies at a number of different campsites. We didn't have that, but um, highly recommend this place. Just beautiful. Just love this bridge. Gotta go over this baby one more time. All right, what did you think, Jen? I loved it. This is a spectacular hike. It was really nice. I liked all the, the beautiful scenery and the little rest huts with uh, places to cook and have a picnic or even camp. Uh, Amazing how really well nice the Finns have camping and hiking down to a science, don't they? Yeah. Talking loud because we got the waterfalls behind us. Awesome, what a great day. Okay, so next morning on the Little Bear Trail, uh, you know, yesterday we started at the um, Ulanka Base Camp. This morning we decided to finish the little small missing piece at the beginning. We went to the Yuma parking lot and because uh, we, we heard that we missed one hanging bridge. Well, here's the beautiful hanging bridge. I love it. Now we're catching this one this morning. Pretty sweet. This thing bounces like crazy when you walk on it. Very neat. Today this area was like a feeding frenzy the two times that we came through here. Now this morning we're here at 10 minutes to 9 a.m. and it is blissfully quiet.